He is absolutely perfect for here because um, we have kids who are greatly in need of comfort and he provides that. I mean, that's all we could ask for. You know, when you're a parent and you're seeing your child go through this and the struggle, to know that there's something extra that comforts her. Meet Odin. He's the Cancer Center therapy dog at Mercy who brings much happiness to the many patients and their families who battle the daily grind and uncertainty that comes with a cancer diagnosis. When we get here, the first thing she does is run up to Lara's gate and begs to see Odin. Um, that's, that's her favorite part of being here, is spending time with Odin. Oh, you know, it's so fun, isn't it? He says, I want to play. The first day when I came here, I uh, was nervous, and then I saw him, and I'm like, a dog. I fell in love with Odie. It can be hard, and it can be sad, and it can be busy, and it can be just a lot of difficult emotions to manage. So oh, sorry, can you get it? Laura Hanks, a clinical social worker and patient advocate at the center, is Odin's handler. How we put it on? Will you help me? After being approved for a therapy dog in 2019, both Odin and Hanks went through an intensive training program and have been together ever since. I have never had a lab before, um, so I didn't know quite what to expect. I was a little bit nervous about how he would fit into my role here since I am very busy and I just kind of worried about managing, you know, my former responsibilities plus the responsibility of handling Odin. Ready? One, two, three, jump! Oh, there you go. Two, three, two. He makes it easy. He is just, you know, he hangs out in my office with me and when I'm ready to take him to a patient, he just hops up and comes along and he just has naturally incorporated into my job. Um, he's helped me emotionally because this has been hard going through cancer and all that. But ever since I've seen him, I'm like, oh, I have something to pet, something that comforts me. He is like my best friend. I mean, he's always calm with them. He's very happy to just lay by them, be petted by them. Um, he's a huge distraction for them too. You know, they have to have a lot of un unpleasant things done to them. Odin's gonna sit by you. There we go, okay. You know, Odin offers so much comfort, not only to her, but also to me, um, plus you. It's, you know, it's a trying time for her, but it's also a really trying time for the parents as well. And to have Odin there, it just, it, it really helps us get through each visit, so. I couldn't love him more. I just really appreciate, I think about, you know, him leaving the house every single day. Like, he has a job and he has to come to work every day. Um, and he's just wonderful. I just, I can't imagine coming to work without him now. Hi, Odin. All right, you did it, Odie. You did it. We're actually looking to get a dog because of Odin. Emma, do you want a puppy dog? Yeah? Do you want a puppy dog just like Odin? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could give him hugs all the time. <laughs> <laughs>